Well, it is crunch time, so we begin tonight with five days left until Election Day and a tight race happening across battleground states with races very much up for grabs. We have coverage across the country tonight, including from my CBS News colleagues. We've got Chief Election and Campaign Correspondent Robert Costa in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and Correspondent Chris Van Cleve in Phoenix. Uh, Chris, I'm going to get to you in a minute, but let's start in the Keystone State where Robert Costa has been covering that key Senate race there. Uh, Bob, I know you're from Pennsylvania. You've been all over this race. You've been camped out in Pennsylvania for the past few days. Uh, but you had a really interesting interview with John Fetterman, the Democrat running for Senate there. What can you tell us about your conversation with him? Caitlin, it's good to be with you from my home state of Pennsylvania. Just sat down with Pennsylvania's Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman here in northeastern Pennsylvania. It's such a crucial area of the state. He had an event earlier today with Senator Bob Casey, the veteran Democrat who comes from this area of Pennsylvania. You see Fetterman in the closing days trying to reassure voters on issues like the economy and crime, which has been a focus of Republican attacks, as well as about his health. And I spoke to Fetterman about his recovery from a stroke months ago. Let's listen. Some voters we've spoken to in recent days say they still have some doubts about your health. What would you say to them to convince them otherwise? I, I, would, I would say we have, have sh uh, shown more and shared more kinds of uh, medical evaluation, more than virtually anyone, unless you're, re you're running for, for, for the president. And I've been campaigning all across Pennsylvania, been in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And we've been trying to be very, very transparent, showed up for a debate. We already knew that was going to be a challenge given, you know, somebody that's in, in recovery of, of actually having a stroke. And I'm sitting within a chair with you right now to have this conversation to really just address uh, the fact that I'm absolutely set to, to serve. Is it tough sometimes having to deal with a recovery process while also being in the middle of a campaign that has the nation's attention? Yeah, it, it, it definitely is, um, and it, it's it's also been um, it's been a challenge for my family as, as well too. What you see from Fetterman in those responses is someone who knows that voters do have doubts in some areas of the state. We've spoken to some of them, but other Democrats and independents and even some Republicans say they believe Fetterman is fine. Uh, his doctor has issued a note. Uh, but he is in these final days talking about that issue. He used closed captioning during our interview. He was open about it. We took pictures about it. We'll discuss it on CBS Evening News tonight. And he's trying to show voters, he tells us, that he's fine, he's ready to serve, but he's dealing with auditory processing issues as he recovers from a stroke. Uh, this is such a key race, Caitlin. The nation's eyes are on Pennsylvania. It could decide the balance of power in Washington next Tuesday. Uh, it's so close. Every poll shows a toss-up. Mehmet Oz, we've covered him as well. He's focusing on crime and suburban voters in the final lap here. Yeah, Bob, I, you know, that's a fascinating interview, and we can't wait to see more of it on Evening News uh, tonight. But I'm curious, has, has Oz been talking about Fetterman's health, or has he been focusing on issues that, that he thinks voters care about? How much is he kind of going back to Fetterman and his stroke? Oz's campaign has in the past brought up Fetterman's stroke and his health status, and that has led Fetterman to repeatedly claim that Oz has never let him forget about having a stroke that's become a, a refrain politically from John Fetterman in the closing weeks of this campaign. But you see Oz in his public re remarks, in his public events, and in his messaging, talking about crime, talking to suburban voters about the economy. He's talking also less about Donald Trump, the former president. Trump will be back in Pennsylvania this weekend. But you see Oz saying that he's really much more about Pat Toomey, the retiring Republican senator. Yeah, Bob, I think fascinating that you have Biden, Obama, Trump all descending on Pennsylvania this weekend shows you how key this race is to Senate control. We're glad to have you there on the ground reporting. Look forward to more of your interview. Bob, thank you.